Nobody is a snitch until they get caught. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah, you don't even have to be a gang member. You don't even have to be nicked and had someone snitch on you. Just watch TV. Yeah. What, what, watch all these programs about American gang members and obviously man in the UK and all these different countries. And like, let me tell you something right now. Yeah. You see, like CCTV and uh, eyewitness testimony, i.e., I saw him shoot that man in his head and DNA and fingerprints and fucking blood and that. Those all help to aid a conviction. Let me move this. Yeah. Um, though, those who they they, they will um, help to get people convicted in that like solid evidence because obviously like basically some use from one area went to another area it's a true story they stabbed up one boy and they found the people who went on the ride out they found the killers they found their blood on the inside of this boy's uh car on his airbag well obviously you must have been doing the stabbing that's why um your blood was found on the inside of his car because when you've got a bunch of man, six, seven man trying to stab up one person, you might get shanked by your bridge and by accident, or you might cut your hand. So you, you might cut your hand and you flip blood, your own blood on the inside of that man's car where you're going to get a conviction. So anyway, all DNA, CCTV evidence, uh, blood, uh, fingerprints and eyewitness testimonies, all well and good. But you know why a lot of men end up in jail? Because their brethren snitch on them. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 that's a big one. Yeah, a lot of these murder cases and that. Why do you think certain men get 21 years, 21 years, and then one person out of five people who got 21 years, one of the men then got 14 years? Well, they done a but they they done a local plea bargain or they they done a local deal with them, innit? If you give us the information we need, we give you less time in it. No one's a snitch until they get caught. Yeah, yeah, bad boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snitches get stitched. That's what everyone screams out on the street. But when they're in, when they're facing 20 years, 15 years, 25 years, we'll see if them and they keep the same energy. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. I don't even really remember like obviously man heard about the racketeering, forget it, but I never really followed the, the, the story. But obviously man heard about the snitching thing. So yeah. Yeah, and obviously that was public. That ain't like some little use from the ends and that this is like, you know, in the media and that. Yeah, man, I heard about it stitching and that. Happen all the time. All the time. The reason why most of these men there fucking uh, in jail is because their brethren put them there, blood. Their brethren, their so-called brethren, should I say, put them in jail, blood. That's why they're in jail. It's not, it's not just because of CCTV evidence. Most of them, man, they're going blacked out, bandanas. Yeah, balaclava, yeah, sunglasses and that. How you getting real, really getting convictions off of a night track suit just because it's got one stripe down down the neck? I know certain men are dumb. Certain men go and stab and shoot people and still keep the same clothes that are distinctive in their fucking house. I'm not telling anyone to go out and shoot people and burn their clothes. Blood. You're going to do a fucking crime. If your clothes, first of all, you don't use distinctive clothes. And if you are using distinctive clothes, get rid of the fucking clothes but that's that's all man say it yeah. yeah yeah come on man yeah the stitches tick is is is, is mad man trust me uh mo mo most of this because i've just got little points and i'm just just freestyling and i ain't really got any examples of like the snitching thing that i could think of in mind apart from just me saying that most of the men them are in jail because their brethren's put them there and, yeah. I can't really think of any stories too tough. Um, but yeah, 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 most man, yeah, man, they just, uh, yeah, they just, they, they snitch on their cold ease, man. They snitch on their cold ease, man. But the, the courts, they play games, though. They play games with people, innit? They, um, yeah you could have people on a case for like a gun charge that they know is involved with a murder but the gun charge the, the gun that that guy was found to have they know he wasn't involved with that murder but they want to find out what happens with that murder first before they try and convict him for the gun charge it's mad mad they play games in the court man they play they play games man 
But yeah, most of the man them that are in jail, it's because their brethren's put them there, innit? Yeah. Fuck what you heard, innit? Obviously, a lot of the time, obviously, fingerprints, and you know how, I'd, like, the man them need to be careful. Them man that have done mad stuff and pitched people and put people away 10 years ago, oh, you better be worried, bro. Because, bro, man seeing man who have done crimes before in the past, like 10 years ago, man are getting convicted today, like over something they done 10 years ago that they thought they got away with. And like the police attended the murder, done all the DNA samples, all the collected all the evidence. But for some reason, the technologies weren't on point. And now they're revising these cold cases, you know, like unsolved murders, they're revising these cold cases and man are getting brought to justice, blood. Fucking mad, yeah. So there was this girl, yeah, like a couple of years ago, it? like three, four years ago. Man tried, uh, just added her on Facebook, innit? Yeah. So boom, she must have accepted this friend request like after a year, innit? Yeah. This is going slightly off topic, killer, yeah, but it's to do with uh, things you do in the past coming back on you, innit? Yeah. Fucking mad. Listen to this story, innit? So boom. So this girl, uh, man added her on Facebook like, Four years ago, a man waited like a year and a half for the friend request to get accepted. But don't get to say, man, I weren't logging in every day waiting for this friend request to be accepted. Anyway, boom. So, anyway, she must have accepted man's friend request. Man didn't even try DM her or nothing like that. It's like four years ago, and boom. So, anyway, never spoke to her on Facebook, nothing like that. And funny enough, I heard that like one of my school brethren went out with this girl, wasn't it? Yeah. So anyway, boom, I'm on Facebook about four weeks ago. Yeah, four weeks ago. So mid-November, I'm on Facebook. I see this girl's picture on Facebook. Apparently she died, blood. I was like, what? This, my girl died or whatever, is it? Blood, the girl's body ended up in the morgue because that's where you go when you die, blood. You know, some man was raping dead bodies in the morgue. He was like, he was an electrician or something like that. Protect, uh, going into the morgue where they keep the dead bodies in, in the hospital in Kent. And he was messing around with the dead bodies. Blah, man knew, I didn't know the girl like that, but that was one of my school brethren's ex-girls that man found out. And the, the girl was fucking uh, good looking girl as well. I thought, fucking hell, blood, like, that is mad. And basically, the reason why they caught him is because he must have killed some women 20, 30 years ago, and they thought he, they, he thought he got away with it. No, 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 no. New evidence surface. So what happened was, he killed some women 30 years ago, thought he got away with it. They collected all the evidence back then, but somehow they got a breakthrough years later, and they came for him. So they came for him, they nicked him. His name's David Fuller, innit? They've gone to his yard. Obviously, if you get nicked for robbery or something like that, they'll come in your yard and they're looking for stolen items and that. They want to find phones, they want to find stolen items and that, whether it's linked to that robbery or they might think you might have done burglaries. But when you're a murderer and stuff, they don't just look for things on the surface and Santander mugs and pens and that. No, they're going to go through your hard drives and that. They're going to go on your computer, they're going to go through your phone innit? Yeah, and see what you've been up to in that because they always know when men do mad crimes like that, they might be into other things. They've gone through the man's hard drive and that. They're finding him performing sexual acts on dead bodies in the morgue. And, that. and then one of them happened to be one, one girl that used to work for Sky News. She recently died. He, he was messing with her body or whatever, innit? Um, yeah, mad. Just type in David Fuller and you'll see the girl's picture pop up, blood. Like, that was man's uh, brethren's ex-girl, blood. Nuts. Nuts. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Evidence, will, um, things that you've done in the past will catch up on you and that. Mad. I was fucking shocked because I remember that picture of that girl. That was like, everyone has like their profile picture or everything, like their best picture, innit? And when I see the thing pull up uh, uh, on my Facebook feed, I'm like, rah, this girl's dead blood, like, 
Like, raw. And then the man's reading the backstory and that. Nah, that mad. Mad, 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 mad. 